Welcome back everybody. Today we're reviewing another cool tool and uh, this just happens to be the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Compact Dual Trigger Bandsaw Kit. Part number is 2829S-22. And uh, so what we're looking at, this, this uh, kit, let's just start with what components come with it. So you can see the retail box on the left, and you can see this nice bag that it comes with here. <clears throat> it's a large bag, and I don't know, it seems to have a really good zipper. It's got a good feel to it. It's got some outside pockets on the front and back. Obviously a carry handle, and it comes with uh, also a shoulder strap if you choose. Um, Get the traditional M12, M18 brochure, the latest tools offered by Milwaukee. And this particular kit is gonna come with two compact three amp hour batteries. Uh, these compact three amp, high, three amp hour high output batteries have the larger cells in them than the previous generation batteries. They have a little bit larger footprint than the traditional or previous cell battery because the previous cells were smaller. Uh, but anyway, the, these three amp hour batteries with this bandsaw are gonna give you a lot of run time. Uh, on top of that, um, this one comes with a rapid charger uh, not your standard charger, but the rapid charger. So the next level up from this rapid charger, I believe, is the supercharger. So this is a uh, this is a nice addition to the larger cell batteries. Uh, this charger is also going to give you the option to charge your M12 batteries if you're in that platform, as well as your M18 batteries. So. This, uh, this kit also includes one blade. It's an eight to 10 TPI for extreme thick metal. This blade is a genuine Milwaukee blade. Anyway, you're gonna get your typical battery and tool manuals and some quick specs on this. And we're looking at, uh, with a variable speed trigger zero to 540 surface feet per minute. Uh, the recommended blade size is 35 and 3 8 by half. By metal is what's recommended. Capacities round stock three and a quarter inches, rectangular stock three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Extremely lightweight to me. Um, Real quick, just on the back, uh, this is gonna be covered by these blade guards and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to assemble this here in just a moment and uh, show you. But you can see uh, it's got the tools, cleaning brush or shavings brush. Um, backside, rafter hook. Front side, You've got your tensioner switch here. Your LED light is located here. And it is an all metal. Uh, here's your material guide, but it's adjustable. It's three position. So you can push in this button here, pull down on it. That's the bot, that's as low as it goes. There's one in the middle here. And then it's home position there. So this is removable. So rear handle, rubber over mold. You have your traditional trigger here. You have a safety lockout switch there. And then on your front handle, it is just plastic. This is not a rubber over mold, it's slick. Uh, and then the bottom side you'll see here is your front trigger. Now, a lot of people um, that are buying these for themselves perhaps do not like the dual trigger setup. Uh, 
dual trigger is designed for safety. Obviously, it requires you to put both hands firmly on the tool like you're supposed to and uh, apply the blade to the material. Um, some people like to go up overhead one-handed and do that number. That's fine. That's really not the safest thing to do, but uh, that's a possibility. Now, on the dual trigger, it's not. So, if you're a small business and we hand these tools out to different hands, I want to make sure they've got both hands on the saw. I do not want one of my hands going up one-handed, uh, taking a chance on really hurting themselves. Remember, we've got a really sharp blade rotating several uh, safety first. Um, I really like the dual trigger, uh, how this works, and I'll demonstrate it shortly, but for it to work, both hands, you can bump this rear trigger. That will fire up the LED light for 10 seconds, and then it'll reset if you don't grab the front trigger, and they both have to be pulled for the blade to turn. Uh, one or other trigger is released, the tool will stop. So I'll get this put together and uh, we'll, uh, we'll cut some different materials. And All right, everybody, quick uh, continuation of the review of Milwaukee's M18 dual trigger bandsaw, part number 2829S-22. This is the kit form. Uh, again, includes the saw, blade guards, blade, two three amp hour uh, high output batteries. And um, anyway, uh, it does come with that contractor's bag. Um, so uh, we've got some different metals here, including some PVC, one PVC anyway. And uh, so I'm going to set these up and uh, demonstrate just how well this thing All right, here we are with some three-quarter inch uh, CPVC. Now this is going to cut through it like butter, but we'll do the demonstration anyway. inch angle iron, eighth inch thick. three quarter inch steel pipe galvanized. two by two by eighth inch thick uh, tubular steel. This thing cuts really well. Uh, you know, compact, uh, variable speed trigger. There is no uh, speed dial anywhere. It's all done right here. One speed, simple. 
I like it. Uh, you know, I like this adjustable shoe. Uh, this is nice. I'm sure that blade is screaming hot after all those cuts. Uh, she feels pretty warm, but uh, motor don't feel bad, but I can feel the heat right around that blade. Probably should take the battery out. Uh, nice tool. Um, I really like it. One thing I didn't mention early on, and I apologize, but uh, in my research, I did find out that they, uh, Milwaukee does offer a reaming tool that's toolless that attaches here and it will do half, three quarter, and one inch. Um, so for you guys cutting conduit all day long, you can make your cut, turn around, and ream it just like that. So uh, I apologize, I don't have the attachment. I can tell you the uh, part number. It'll be at the end of this video. I am gonna include a couple of still pictures of that attachment. Uh, I definitely think that is something for uh, you guys that are uh, uh, cutting a lot of uh, conduit. It's definitely an attachment that uh, I, th I think you gotta have. So uh, anyway, that concludes the review. Uh, I hope uh, you folks got something out of this and uh, can make a 